Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. Welcome to part three of the Ward's Airline WG5974A. It's got the television chassis back in, and I've got this oriented in a, a place where I think that we'll be able to work on it and see what's on the screen. And I've been warming up my old RCA uh, pattern generator. It's been sitting for a while, so I don't know if it's still calibrated and working fine. But we're going to see if we can put some light on the screen of this thing. And so let's go ahead and turn the amp on. See if that comes up since I've had it all apart. And then we'll turn the TV set on and see what happens there. In theory it should work. We had high voltage on the bench and the correct horizontal frequency. Alright. Warm the TV up, see what happens. Come on. Be hearing something by now. But it seems as though I got nothing. Filaments aren't lighting. Alright. Something's amiss here. Let's see what's gone wrong. Turn this off for a bit. All right, we had a loose tube socket, so let's try this again. Let's see if we're getting uh, filaments lighting. Yep. All right. Let's see what happens now. There's our TV sound. No picture yet. Oh, got something. There we go. All right. Let's turn on our pattern generator. Nice and bright. Let's see, that's contrast. Not sure what the funky audio is all about. I guess that's your AGC, huh? That fringe control. Let's just leave that at midpoint. There's our horizontal frequency we can now adjust. That's nice. Not very much brightness. Oh, there we go. Blue Momatic. Okay, so it's obvious to me that we have a bit of a vertical problem. Let's see now. So vertical linearity is the top control, and height is the one more towards the bottom. I'm going to see if I can make some adjustments. Bear with me here. Let's see, the top one was linearity, so that's wrong. Set that. I know everyone's going to complain that I don't have a, a tripod or something to set this on because I don't. So, and I don't really have a mirror to see what's going on with it. Although, let me switch cameras and maybe we can work this out. Hold on a second. 
All right, we're going to see if this works a little better. Now, if it blinks it, it's because the automatic brightness control thing here, which actually works, is going to be changing the brightness and contrast. So I apologize if this gets screwy, but this is the only way I can see it doing it. these controls are super touchy we got a little compression up top here still that's much better we need to rotate the picture a little bit That's probably a little too far. Like I said, very limited room to work. It's going to blank it. Getting pretty close there, though. All right. So, if I step in front of the little eye sensor there, you can see it gets brighter and dimmer. This thing actually works probably too well. It's supposed to vary the brightness and contrast based on the ambient light in the room. And I'm not sure what's going on with the, uh, the sound. Let's see if we can get our fine tuning correct. So that's good. We've got decent looking geometry it looks like. Let me get down on my knees here and see if it looks good from the front. It's a little overloaded because of the, the brightness. And that's with the contrast at minimum. It only gets crazier. We can turn that down a little bit to help save the pretty hot CRT on this thing. It looks good. Uh, geometry could be a little bit better up top, just a smidge. Yeah, let's see how that looks. That's pretty close. So I think I'm going to leave that alone. And then, uh, let's see. Wow. With no signal applied, it just kind of goes dark. going to see any color bars on this one okay so what I'm going to do now is we'll hook up a BTV box and we'll see if we can get any acceptable picture over the air but I live out in a, a swale so I don't think I'm going to have the best uh, signal quality we'll see having to combat the bright sunlight that's occurring as a function of it being early morning and this storage is facing east. See now if you didn't have a signal applied you'd swear the TV is off unless you had the volume up and you were listening to the interstation noise.
think this box is on channel four. Nope, maybe it is on channel three. And we got jumpies here. No signal, it says. So let's make one. I'm probably going to need to do a rescan because this box has been down so long that uh, all the old channel groups are probably not valid. Well, we got something. Alright, I gotta get off of this before they pop me for a copyright thing. Alright. Let's go to our menu. And see what lovely goodies we can find. See if I can block out some of this light. Yeah, maybe not. That helps a little. Got a nice sharp picture. I think I need to rotate that picture a little more. It still seems kind of uh, crooked to me. Okay, 16 channels found, none of which are going to be watchable. Uh, aspect ratio cannot be changed. Nice picture on this set. Let's see if we can change this one. All right, so the centering of this is kind of poor. I'm going to see if I can shore up the vertical size and stuff because it seems like it's too far down it needs to be uh, moved up vertically a little bit so let me find the centering ring Okay, just now it's too far to the left. That's hard messing with this because the, uh, well, that made it worse because the yoke is crumbling apart. That makes it much worse. I'm trying to look into the camera there. Let's see where I'm at there. Of course, now that's too far high. Let's see. That's about as close as I can get without it getting nuts. Let's uh, make sure our horizontal is on sync here. 
There we go. Vertical's on sync. It's a little touchy, but not impossible to watch. You got a little bit of buzz and hum. Ooh, that's bright. That's one thing that's definitely a killer on this one is the uh, automatic eye makes it really bright. But it looks good. Pico Avenue. We got the buzz. Ah. Much better. A little bit of fine tuning work there. Got pretty crummy DC restoration, but there you go. Have some hazel in its original 4 by 3 format. This has got a really strong CRT, and it's scary bright. Let me switch cameras again. Yeah, it's just so bright it keeps blanking the screen. But yeah, so the next will be uh, getting this all put back together and cleaned up, and this will be up for adoption. It's one of many things that I just don't have the need to store anymore. The uh, radio works quite nice. I cleaned it up and aligned it. And get the nice uh, turn off there with the TV. Here's AM. You're going to be angry. There's KFI. Which is remarkable considering it's sitting next to a switching source. Let's see about FM. And the uh, stereo multiplex is aligned and works and it's stable. You're not going to get much radio out of here, FM wise. And the turntable I serviced a while back. Um, let's see if I can just find a record to toss on it. Not sure how well it works because it's been a while. Got good torque. There's my little funny test record here. Bonnie Pruden's Keep Fit and Be Happy. Let's see how well this plays. I'm going to need two hands for this one. Hold on. Make sure this is unlatched so it doesn't snap up. Oh, record size selector is a little touchy. That's what happens when these things sit for a long time. The last I uh, messed with this was probably at least three years ago. Let's try it again just for grins and giggles. Otherwise I'll have to tinker with the record player some before it goes up for sale. I can see it striking the wand back there, but it's not sitting down in the right spot, so something is sticky. Sounds good though. 
and considering that's on a Warner label, I'll probably get a copyright strike for it. Let's see if it picks up at the end. Yep. Doesn't repeat. Shuts off. All right. We'll go back to FM AM. So, I needed to do a little tweaking on the uh, record player, but the television works quite nice. So this will be up for adoption once I get all the quirks worked out, and uh, it needs a new home. Someone needs to give this thing a home. It's really nice. Everything on it's going to work. I like how you can close the doors and keep the TV hidden. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, segment. And that's all for this series. But, uh, once this goes, there'll be another set behind it we can get to. It's all covered up right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. More stuff to come.